Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee. Okay. What we have here? Cheap black socks. Man size. As big as they come. Okay. What we're going to do. I was going to make the whole video with my new witch's hat on, but it's actually annoying. <laughs> so I'm taking it off. I tried. Ears. Cat's ears. Headband that's soft that we can put around the back of our hair. Now you can just do the headband, the ears, and put them on a plastic headband. And I will talk you through that. It's just that I prefer to do this. So what we need... A pair, so two black socks and a little bit of elastic. This is just make it easy to get on and off. We don't really need that, okay? But if you've got some, then we might need it. Okay, so one of the socks. Two ears. Now. Um, the elastic that goes around the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sew those on top just to strengthen it. Now I'm not going to cut the bottom uh, at the moment. Now what we can do to make the headband is we can just use a sock as it is and then sew a tiny amount of elastic on it. If we haven't got the elastic and we're quite happy to do some sewing, then I am literally, the sock is laying flat, I'm ignoring the heel and I'm cutting all the way around. So that's that. I'm going to put that to the side. I'll find something else to use that with. Thrust me. Okay, we have our sewing machine set up on a straight stitch. Sometimes I push it so far it falls off the back of the table. It's just literally aggression. Now, I'm not cutting the bottom as yet. This is just because this fabric is quite frayy. So I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to do that last. Now I need to sew around the outside, but I also need to catch this piece of the elastic at the top. And I say elastic, I don't think it's been elastic for years. It's kind of ridging. So when I get to the point where I am going to start going over the sock, I'm lifting the foot and then putting it under the foot and then it should continue to sew. So take that down, leave the needle down and do a turn, making sure that the ribbing is under the foot. Because it's not difficult to get it to sew, it's just difficult to get it under the foot. So that's the only bit we need to concentrate. Okay. And again, I have got my ribbing here, it's not attached yet, and when it gets to the point now that it needs to go under the foot, because it just pushes it out of the way, and there we are, it's on the ribbing now, I'm to the point where I need to turn round, and there we go. I'm going to cut these two apart because I am um, continue sewing. I left them together. I'm now going to take my scissors and I am going to. You can either slide your scissors in, make a hole, or what I'm actually doing is I'm just literally cutting the fold. And then we turn it inside out. Because these is it's like a knit, isn't it? Um, socks. 
so we, it could completely unravel. There we go, push it up to the end. You might need to trim the ribbing. That's one without the ribbing trimmed. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my scissors in between the point and the ribbing so the stitches are intact but I'm taking off the bulk of this ribbon. That's so that it will make a sharper point. Turn it inside out. I suppose the expression is careful not to handle it too much. And there we go. And I can push that ribbing out to a nice point. Now, I've got the, the flary, fray edges and I can literally just push those corners in and I can then put it under the sewing machine and if I sew straight across then that's fine. Okay, now if we're using one of those plastic hairbands, that's great, then we can just literally, a little bob of glue and we can put them on. Or hand stitch them, I think will probably be the easiest. So that's the ears. Oh, the bob oh, no, it's not working. Okay, so we've got the socks for the hairband. Now again, I need to get rid of that ribbing. It's just, there's no point to it, no point to it at all. And I am going to place the blunt end, the toe, under the sewing machine. And I'm going to do a good couple of stitches. Because that's like the weakest point. And then I'm going to sew down the outside. sort of three inches from the end. I'm going to take one of my ears and I'm going to place it in between there. Now it's completely stretched so it's not not going to go. I can literally pull this sock over and then just keep an eye on it making sure that it's gone under the foot what happens is it pushes it away from the foot and then when it's under the foot it just continues to sew. So that's that. I need to do the same with the other so I'm going to cut off the ridge. I'm going to start at the toe end. Now you can take the first one out and then put the second one in, that's fine. Just because I don't doesn't mean anything. Now, I don't have to worry about the heel this time. Not that I worried about it before. Now, I'm coming up to the end. I'm going to take my ear. I'm going to force feed it in there and then stretch the other part of the sock over. And if I have any taggly bits like the cotton here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew them on the physical side. So we're just going over the top now. And now I'm coming to the end. Okay. So we have to now turn this inside out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this over at least to the ear so I can get the ear out of the way because that's going to be my problem. That's why I put it on this end. I'm going to take a pencil 
and that I can use that to to push it through although you know it's a sock it's really stretchy especially these sort of cheap thin ones and um, it is just a case of ramming it through if you have a knitting needle that's also good but make sure you just have something with a blunt end and really I don't need it I, I could just do it with my fingers I really could because it's that stretchy okay so when we've got it all through and it is a matter of sort of pushing and pulling it's it's not too difficult and we need to do this with both of them so got bored with pushing now I'm going to pull and it's never ending there we go so what we've got now is a strip with an ear I'm going to do the other one and then I'm going to come right back to you. Hi, oh, so welcome back. Okay, so what we've got now is two dongly things. Now, as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm untucking this. Now, the reason I'm untucking this is just to show you how easy it is to roll back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other ear end and I'm literally going to place it inside the other sock and then I'm going to sort of let the ends roll up and it's, it's a, yeah, take your time, don't rush, kind of goes in, you can always stick a pin in it and you can always use a pin just to push those ends in. What I would say is make sure that your ears are both facing upwards, although not essential, not essential at all. Um, I put it under the foot of the machine and I'm literally then sewing on. Yeah, modern sewing machines, I do a few stitches without anything under them. Not many, but you can't really see anything because my hands are in the way. And then reverse. And there we are. Let's check that I've got everything. So what I'm left with is this. Now this is enough to go on my ears, on my head, and then enough to tie behind my hair. So let's get that on there. Maybe if I'd have tied my hair up first of all, it would have been slightly easier. Now you do need to cut off all your loose ends, and um, but they're there. Maybe I should have done them in white so you could see them. Who knew? I always thought I had slightly ginger hair. Now, as it's made of socks, it's it's not going to pull the hair. Because what I'm thinking of is for a child. And um, sometimes, you know, things can catch and it's really uncomfortable. And those plastic ones, sometimes those ridges can stick right in the head. So, yeah, there we go. We have got, very cheap to get hold of the equipment, um, sewn on the sewing machine, and um, cat's ears. All right, thank you ever so much for watching. My name's Fiona from Weekly Sewing Bee.